YouTuber Mr. Beast helped build a hunt. What's this guy? <laughs> this guy. Part of the Alex Jones crew, huh? Okay, I'm sure this will be fucking enlightening. 100 wells in Africa providing safe, clean drinking. To be fair, I have seen this guy before. Paul Joseph Watson or some shit like that. And I have heard him say some shit that I thought was really fucking dumb and totally disagreed with. And I've also heard him say some shit that is was right completely on point and I thought I thought it was you know all the way uh, accurate so this should be uh, interesting to see what Mr. Watson has to say water for up to five about fucking Mr. Beast 500,000 black people in Cameroon Kenya Somalia Uganda and Zimbabwe oh, You just witnessed a small village in Kenya get access to unlimited clean drinking water in less than a second. Well, he must be racist then. Well, American YouTuber Mr. Beast goal was to provide clean drinking water for 500,000 people. Activists say his actions shamed the Kenyan government and helped perpetuate the stereotype that Africa is dependent on handouts. Oh my god, how dare he? Because it's offensive beyond belief to suggest that Africa is dependent on handouts, right? I guess the $324 million in humanitarian aid the United States gave Kenya in 2022 alone doesn't count somehow. I suppose the more than <laughs> Okay, I like where this is going. $126 million in food assistance given to them earlier this year didn't count either. Wherever did the stereotype that they're dependent on handouts come from? And isn't Mr. Beast's narcissistic, bigoted, white saviour behaviour of checks notes. Literally saving the <laughs> lives of African children. Really not just another four. <laughs> The sad thing is I would literally have to do that because I'm so stupidly stoned. Form of colonial. And I did. That's funny because I remember when Mr. Beast came out with this video and I saw that he was doing all this stuff and I'm like, dude, how fucking great and amazing is that? You know what I mean? And that's like, dude, you know, makes me have faith in humanity type of shit. Like, that. he doesn't have to go out and do that stuff. He could sit in a mansion and hoard all of his money and make other type of videos. But, like, he a lot of times gives people money and does really cool and nice philanthropic type things so it's just hilarious that of course the government and like the media wants to paint him as in a negative freaking light in retrospect for doing something like that <laughs> it's just hilarious if that's and then that, if that's not the pot calling the kettle black dude it reminds me of sss or sniper wolf or whatever the fuck um how like, she would always uh, accuse people of doing the shit that she was doing. So if she was copying people, she'd always accuse people of copying her. <laughs> and if she was fucking, you know, stealing people's styles or whatever, people would always she would accuse people of doing that to her. It was just fucking hilarious, dude. And I, and I, you know, a lot of people do that. And it's just so funny. Try to take the freaking, um, you know spotlight off of them by putting it on something else <laughs> i mean what's more important preventing childhood diseases or ensuring that rich white dudes don't get to make themselves look like nice people i guess given that they don't want to be dependent on handouts anymore we must now cancel all western aid to africa entirely at least it'll end the stereotypes right mr beast 100 wells is disrespect to africans he described the entire africa as a village with its people living in huts he projected that all africans lack good drinking water wells in 2023 is offensive why not boreholes or pipe borne water africans do not need water donation we ain't that poor and thirsty Africa is a continent with 54 countries. He must be specific where he went. This is capitalism. He want to low-key use these countries for profit. He has set Africans for global ridicule by building wells we never asked him for. He described certain villages as containing... Well, I mean, I feel like he definitely did this for the algorithm type shit to a certain extent and um, to get views and all that stuff, but it's... <laughs> It's not a bad endeavor, and it's a lot better than seemingly what a lot of other fucking YouTube people are doing for views. Uh, <coughs> Neo, or Neon, or whatever the fuck that guy's name is who sucks that we just fucking watched. 
reports. He projected that many Africans lack safe drinking water, which is factual at 29%. Well is an easier term to understand. He specified what countries and when he moved to. This is speculation. No, he is not. Thought of the day. Is our basic competence hurting Africa's feelings? Westerners are coming over here and creating functional rudimentary infrastructure. It's humiliating, say angry Africans. Would it just be kinder not to tell Africa about the concept of basic maintenance? You can provide 500,000 Africans with clean drinking water and they'll still call you racist. Better that ordinary people <laughs> in a country die of thirst than their political elites experience an ounce of shame. Lest we forget, <laughs> Mr. Beast was previously lambasted as demonic for paying poor black people's medical bills. Yes, he may have given away countless millions in cash. He may have helped countless people with his tireless philanthropy. But does that really make amends for some edgy comments he made nearly a decade ago? <laughs> <laughs> This is pretty good, I can say. Let's hope that Mr. Beast isn't deterred and that he doesn't end up taking the Scott Adams black pill. I'm going to back off from being helpful to black America. The only outcome is I, be, I get called a racist. This video is sponsored by Kamikoto Japanese <laughs> Steel Knives. Look at that beauty. Used by Michelin star chefs around the world. All right, well, that was actually pretty freaking good, I gotta say. That was way better than I expected. Kudos.